no one had explained to us that, you know, it was overcrowded and everything and that it would take four days to get a room. Cree elder Matthew Mukash, a former Grand Chief of the Grand Council of Crees in Quebec, spent four days in the hallway of the Montreal General Hospital waiting for treatment. He traveled here from his northern Quebec village of Wakmakstui and was admitted on January 7th. Now his family is sharing his experience and hopes to change the treatment of patients in Quebec emergency rooms, including Indigenous patients from the provinces north. I would rather not see my grandfather go through this situation also while facing health issues. Um, you know, it was it was extremely crowded. Um, the nurses and the, the security and also the staff, you know, they're working 24 hours per day. Um, you know, and in the lobby, they don't turn the lights off. There is no place to really rest. Jane Mukash said she spent as much time as she could by her grandfather's side while being treated in the hallway as he was experiencing mobility problems and unexplained weight loss. They didn't know if he would have a bed anytime soon. At the time, Matthew said in Cree that he wasn't treated properly. He said, I'm very concerned because I don't seem to be treated with any immediacy. An Indigenous liaison officer was present, telling them overcrowding in ERs have affected all Quebecers. Jade said her uncle started documenting the experience when a security guard allegedly asked her to leave. As a family, we just felt like that was taking it too far by telling me that I couldn't sit by my grandfather um, when we weren't causing any issues in the ER lobby. The MUHC overseeing the Montreal General Hospital says sometimes visitors are asked to leave for a period of time when it's busy. In a statement to City News, they say, We recognize that all establishments in the health care network are going through difficult times and the MUHC is no exception. This unfortunate situation has an impact on our patients and their families. Overcrowding in the emergency department is due, among other things, to a record number of patients occupying our beds while waiting to be transferred elsewhere in the network and to staff shortages. We're a proponent of having an educational system that sees an equitable amount of individuals of First Nations ancestry taking these courses and becoming nurses, becoming doctors, becoming uh, uh, respiratory therapists, becoming paramedics, becoming healthcare professionals that can then uh, serve better serve their own communities and, and have a, a want to stay in their communities so that we don't have to. Uh, send our, our, our elders out. Matthew was eventually discharged to a Montreal hotel for Cree patients waiting for admission and then told to make the long journey back home. Jade says this should be a wake-up call. To hopefully get the healthcare system to recognize how much of an impact this has on, you know, the general population. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.